Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. And welcome back. I'm Cindy Shu. It is tax day, and just because it's the deadline to file your federal income taxes doesn't mean the IRS is ready to handle the workload. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now to tell us why. Dick. Well, Cindy and Maurice, if you have a refund coming, um, could take a while. Blame it on budget cuts and COVID disruptions. They've shrunk staffing at the IRS to less than 80,000 people, the same level it was nearly half a century ago. It's tax day, and that means time's up, time to file. If you've been working on your filing for the past few weeks and you had to call the IRS for help with an issue, well, you know things aren't exactly going at top speed. On average, you know, our hold times can range anywhere between 30 and 40 minutes. In a report to Congress, the IRS acknowledged only about 20% of callers have been getting through to live IRS agents at times this month, and that's actually an improvement over 2021 when just 11% of calls were answered. The reason? Budgets that have been slashed and shortages of equipment and staff, along with a serious backlog. They're starting the tax year with 3 million tax returns to finish from last year. And then the tidal wave comes this year, of course, culminating today. CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarland says the IRS budget has been a victim of Congress. It's been politically advantageous for some federal leaders to cut the IRS. It's not only politically tolerable to go home and tell your constituents we chop the IRS, it might be a political benefit. The IRS says it's moving to hire more people, but they won't be in place in time for this season. I would say, you know, we need thousands more employees still coming to join us. Uh, we are an aging uh, workforce, uh, and we know that we have to prepare for the future. And perhaps the one thing that slows things down more than anything, people who refuse to file electronically. We found about two million people from New York, about a million or two from New Jersey, and half a million from Connecticut still file the old-fashioned way on paper, and paper is the IRS's kryptonite, Dick. They have the same number of processors to handle the paper and handle the phone. So they're juggling both the phone calls and the paper. Good to know you have their full attention. Now, still as of April 8th, here's the good news. More than 70 million refunds have been issued, and the average refund is almost 10% higher than last year. It's now more than $3,200. So you got to take the good with the bad. Marissa and Cindy. All right, Dick, thank you.